Hi everyone, it's me again, Mama Riel, and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, ito nga, meron na naman tayong panibagong video, and ang ating video for today is para sa aking mga grade 8 students over the screen. Ayan. And of course, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa aking YouTube channel, please wag mo muna kalimutang mag-subscribe. And syempre, ilike mo tong video na to. And of course, i-hit mo na din yung notification bell down below. Ayan. Para syempre, palagi kang updated whenever na magpo-post ako ng mga tutorials uh, dito sa YouTube. And of course, please consider also following me on my social media accounts in here. Ayan. Para syempre, if ever lang naman gusto nyong maging updated sa mga ina-upload kong mga tutorials. So, ayun na lang. Um, without further ado, without any daldal, ang daldal na ma'am. <laughs> Tara na, simulan na natin ang pag-aaral right after the intro. <music> lesson for today's video is all about the illustrations and verifying a relation and a function. And this lesson is for grade 8 students, second quarter. Okay, so we're talking about function and relation. Actually, medyo nakakalito lang to, pero kapag alam nyo na yung mga definition of terms nila, is madali na lang ito para sa inyo. Okay? Siyempre, before we proceed, kailangan alam muna natin ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng relation. So, when we say relation, it is any ordered pairs containing one object from each set. Meaning to say, we are talking about relationships between two sets, okay? So, as you can see, we have here set A and set B and we are gonna talk about two sets and that is what makes a relation. And, ang nilalaman ng set A, we have the banana, the apple, the broccoli, and the orange. Now, saang sets ba sila kabilang? Which is the set B, the fruits, and vegetables. So, ang tawag dito is a mapping. Okay? And when we say mapping, pinapakita natin yung relationship between two sets. And ito, palagi nating tatandaan mga bunso, set A is always B, the domain, while set B is the range. Okay? Ang domain kung saan nag-start yung arrow, and then yung range kung saan nag-end yung arrow or kung saan pupunta. Lahat ng elements na to and lahat ng elements na yon is the domain and the range. Palagi niyo yung tatandaan. So, kagaya nga ng sinasabi ko, we have the banana and banana is considered as fruits, apple considered as fruits, broccoli as vegetables, orange as fruits. No? So, that is the explanation all about the relation. Another example is the spoon, fork, plates, they are all in the kitchen. So, kung ilalagay natin siya in mappings, pwede niyong ilagay dito yung spoon, fork, plate, tapos doon, kitchen. ba? And meron pa, marami, marami tayong relationships na um, yun yung tawag sa kanila. For example, um, the bed, yung unan, ba? Yung kumot, they are all from the bedrooms, ba? So, those are examples of a relation. Simply, um, we are talking about a relationship between sets. Okay? Set of things in a kitchen and set of things in a bedroom. And under that is yung mga binanggit natin kanina na mga bagay. So, ganun lang kasimple si relation. And ito pa mga bunso, palagi nyo tatandaan na ang relations can be expressed in so many ways like pa-ordered pairs, graphing, mapping, like this one, table, and equations. So, meron, lahat ng relations, pwede mo siyang isulat sa mga ganon na ways. And ito nga pinapakita ko sa inyo is um, the mapping. Okay? And of course, we have the classification of relation. And those are one to one, many to one, and one to many. And we're gonna talk about first the classification of relation. And we have here one to one. Remember, ang tawag sa mga nilalaman nito from the domain is the elements. And dito, from the range is also elements. Ibig sabihin, ng elements yun yung nilalaman ng bawat map. Okay? Or bawat um, set na meron tayo. And now, when we say a one to one, it means that every element um, in the domain 
Okay, lahat daw ng elements na nasa domain should have a unique element in the range. What does it mean? Meaning to say, from the word itself, one to one, bawat isang element dito is nakamap lang sa bawat isang element din na nasa range. Okay? Ganyan yung itsura niya. As you can see, itong one, ang kapartner niya is four. One and four. This is what we call ordered pair. One, four. We also have two, five. Ayan. And three, six. Remember the ordered pair? Kaya, kaya nga ang relation, pwede din siya sa graph like sa rectangular coordinate system kasi it means a point, di ba? Uh, meaning to say, pwede tayong mag-graph through a relation or function. Okay? So, that is an ordered pair from 1 to 1. Dapat ay walang magkatulad na value dito sa kanila domain and wala ding magkakatulad na value sa range. As you can see, ang domain ay 1, 2, 3 and the range are 4, 5, 6. So, walang magkakatulad na value na in the same position. Okay, that is a one-to-one. -one. Now, we have the many-to-one. As you can see, itong si one na element natin dito from the set A, siya ay kapartner niya si four. Nakamap siya kay four. Itong two, nakamap din siya kay four. Si three, nakamap din kay four. Meaning to say, we have many elements dito or two or more elements are mapped to only one element in the range. Okay? From the word itself, many to one. Okay? Basta may nakita kayo na ganon, na style, that is a many to one. And the ordered pairs are one, four. We also have two, four. Ayan, napapansin nyo, magkakagaya na yung kanilang um, range nung nilagay natin siya sa element. We also have three, four. Ayan. Kaya siya tinawag na many to one. Isa lang yung nakamap from the range. Okay? And madami siya from the domain. Now, let's move on to one to many. Kabalik taran lang to ni many to one. One to many, we have each element in the domain is mapped to any two or more elements in the range. Meaning to say, meron tayo ditong elements na nakamap to the two elements from the range. For example, itong si one. Nakamap siya kay four and five. Diba? That is one too many, kasi marami siya sa kabila. Okay? So, the ordered first are 1, 4. We also have 1 and 5. Ayan. As you can see, mayroon siyang magkagaya dito sa ating domain. Remember, the domain is the first set or the X. Diba? Sa ordered pairs natin, we have X and Y. Lahat ng nasa X, those are the domain. Lahat ng nasa Y, those are the range. Okay? Palagi niyang tandaan. We also have 2 and 6. 2 and 6. And 3, 0. Kasi wala siyang map doon. Diba? As you can see, meron ditong nagdoble. Ayan. Kaya yan ay 1 to many. And ganun lang siya kasimple. Now, we have already learned about the definition of the relation and the qualifications of the relations. Now, we're gonna talk about a function. Ngayon, ano naman daw ang function? A function is a special type of a relation. Therefore, a function is under the relation. Okay, kaya nga meron tayong sinasabi na lahat ng function ay relation, pero hindi lahat ng relation ay function. Okay, now we're gonna identify in these three classifications kung alin ba dito ang functions. Okay? And meron pa palang isa yung many to many. Many to many means madami na, kumbaga ay combination na siya ng mga many to one tsaka one to many. And ilalagay ko na lang dito yung example ng many to many na relation. Okay? Um, when we say function, it is a relation where no element in the domain are mapped or paired to more than one element in the range. So, the best example of a function is the one-to-one. -one. Ito, the best example na to. Kasi as you can see, ang kanyang domain ay nakamap lang to only one element in the range. As you can see, si one nakamap lang siya sa four and hindi siya nakamap sa five. Hindi din siya nakamap kay six or nakapair. Diba? Si two, nasa five lang siya. Hindi siya nakamap kay four. Hindi siya nakamap kay five. Nakamap kay six. Okay? And also, si three. Meaning to say, um, walang element sa domain ang nakamap to two or more elements 
sa range or naka-pair. When we say map, um, we're talking about pairing, okay? Or pagpapares, ganon. Many to one is also a function. Bakit siya function? Kasi as you can see, si one, nakamap siya kay four. Si two, nakamap din siya kay four. Si three, nakamap din siya kay four. Pero, walang um, elements dito sa domain ang nakamap sa two or more elements na nasa Kung si 1 ay nakamap din kay 5, therefore, hindi na siya function. And the best example of not a function dito is itong 1 to many. Si 1 to many is not a function. Bakit? Kasi as you can see, merong element dito sa uh, domain na nakapair sa madaming elements dito sa range. As you can see, itong 1. Nakapair siya kay 4. Nakapair din siya kay 5. Therefore, this is not a function. Diba? Itong 1 to 1 tsaka si many to 1 function sila. Kasi walang ni isang nakapair sa dalawa or more elements in the range. And that is the simplified explanation all about the functions. Okay, as you can see, itong ating mga ordered pairs, tingnan niyo yung mga value ng x. 1, 2, 3. Diba? Wala silang magkakatulad na value. Therefore, that is a function. Okay? Itong many to one. One, two, three. Wala ding magkakatulad na value. Although may magkakatulad na value sa um, range, okay lang yon. As long as the domain is the concerned na walang kagaya na value. And as you can see dito, one, one, two, three. Parehas merong one. Kita nyo yan? ba? Dito sa ating x or sa ating domain. Therefore, that is not a function. And don't nyo malalaman if a relation is a function or just a mere relation. Okay? Now, let us identify if these relations are function or not. Or these ordered pairs. As you can see dito sa ating set A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So, how are you going to identify if the relation is a function or not. Kapag nandun siya sa ordered pairs, these are an example of the ordered pairs. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, may susulat natin si relations through ordered pairs, through graph, or through equation, to, through mapping, ganon, di ba? Now, let us identify if set A is a function or not. The set of ordered pairs are said to be a function if there is no element or distinct element, walang magkatulad na element in their abscissas. And when we say abscissas, ito yung ating mga first element. Dapat ay walang magkakatulad na element or value. For example, dito sa set A, ang ating abscissas or the first element, ayan, or yung ating domain, okay, is 1, 3, 5, those are our domain or abscissas, di ba? Now, 1, 3, 5, magkakatulad ba sila or hindi? May magkatulad ba or wala? Wala, of course. Therefore, this represents a function. Okay, ganun lang kasimple pag identify kung function ba or hindi ang ating um, ordered pairs or set of ordered pairs. Now, sa number 2, tingnan natin ang mga abscissas or ang mga first element. We have 1, 1, negative 2, negative 2. May magkakatulad ba? Yes, of course. Itong ating first ordered pair, tsaka itong ating second, they are both 1 sa akin nilang first element. Ito ay both negative 2. Therefore, this represent a not a function. Okay, ganun lang kasimple. How about number 3? We have 0, 3, 1, 4, 2, negative 3, 3, and negative 4. 0, 1, 2, 3. Meron bang nagkatulad? Wala, ba? Therefore, this also represent a function. Ay, ganun lang kasimple. Ngayon, paano naman daw natin malalaman kung ang relation ay function when it comes to graph? Remember, um, nag-discuss na natin yung sa mapping or sa group or yung ordered pair, ngayon naman sa graph, what are you going to do para malaman if that is a function or not is to do the vertical line test. What does the vertical line test mean? It means to say that um, in every vertical line na dinorowing mo 
sa kanilang graph or sa graph na meron ka, if that vertical line intersects not more than one, not more than one, therefore, kapag daw nag-intersect yung vertical line ng hindi lalagpas ng isa sa point na meron dito, therefore, that represents a function. For example, we have here graph A, ayan, let's identify if this is a function or not, magdo-drawing lang tayo ng vertical line. Ano ba pag sinabi natin vertical line? Linya na nakaganyan, nakatayo, okay? And then, mag-draw tayo ng vertical line. Ayan, ito yung nakagraph na relation, okay? Ayan, kita niyo yan. And then, nag-intersect lang siya sa isang point. Okay? Isang point lang. Therefore, this represents a function. Kasi dapat hindi siya mag-intersect in more than one. And since isa lang talaga to, therefore, that is a function. Okay? Now, let's um, identify if this one is a function or not through vertical line test. Mag-draw tayo ng vertical line. Ayan. And as you can see, meron tayo ditong 1, 2, 3. This intersects to 3 points. Tama? Ayan. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, this um, graph is not a function. Or it is just a mere relation in the form of a graph. Okay, ganun lang kasimple. Basta, tandaan nyo lang kapag ka, um, hindi nag-intersect ang vertical line um, to two or more, therefore, that is a function. Dapat sa isa lang na point siya mag intersect Kahit pa ilipat natin yan dito, ilipat mo dito, isa lang yung madadaanan yan. Ito, kahit ilipat mo yan dito, tatlo pa din yung madadaanan yan. Ayan, tatlo. One, two, three. Diba? So, ganun lang kasimple ang paggamit ng vertical line test when it comes to identifying if a relation is a function or not. So, definitely that is all for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching and medyo dumidilim na. Tapos natin yung mapping, yung ordered pairs, tsaka yung graph. Okay? So, equation naman tayo sa next nating lesson all about this one. Okay? So, palagi lang kayong mag-abang ng up update natin dito sa ating YouTube channel and of course sa aking mga social media accounts. Uh, okay, ganun lang kasimple mga bunso. Sana ay may natutunan kayo dito sa aking video all about a function and a relation. And di lang nga kung may mga request kayo ng mga math topics, you can always comment it down sa ating comment section and nagbabasa po ako. Okay, so always remember to make your day productive by gaining knowledge. Again, this is me, Mama Maria, and see you on my next video. God bless everyone.